Come see me across the street, President. I'm Mary with Social Assault Alternative in Tacoma. And I think one thing that was, you know, really stood out with Occupy is that it uh, actually defined, um, like, you know, who the enemy is. Uh, we, you know, we've got the 99%, which is all of us, and then you've got the 1%, and act actually it's a, a fraction of 1%, uh, because the Walton family alone um, owns as much wealth as the bottom 40% of the population. And um, working people, you know, we, we run society. We create all wealth in society. We produce all the goods. We provide all the services. And we are the most powerful class in society, but we don't realize it. And we have to organize. We have to build movements. It's movements that change society, not individuals. You can try to vote in a better Democrat or a better Republican. That does not change society. Uh, as socialist alternative, we have taken the position that we're asking people to vote for the strongest left, pro-worker, anti-corporate, anti-war uh, candidate. And so uh, because of that, we're supporting Joel Stein. It's a major step for people to try to break from the two parties of big business to cast a vote outside the two parties since big corporations and a handful of big corporations own basically all of the media, 80% uh, of everything that you read, everything that you hear on the radio, everything that you see on TV. Every poll you take supports two-party po politics. But unfortunately, it doesn't matter if um, you know the Democrats take office, because uh, a vote for Obama is a vote for Wall Street. So if you're voting for two parties, for the two-party system, you are basically throwing your vote away. If you can cast a vote for a left alternative, then that will be the first step in building a workers' party, a party that represents uh, all of us and that will provide for all our needs. Um, it's the best way to organize. Um, right now, nobody should be out of work. We, um, it's not like we need less health care or less education or less public transportation. We need more of it. and. People can't even get to work right now. And they can't put food on their tables. People are really struggling. And the thing is that there's all kinds of work that needs to be done around us. And if we were to organize society in a way that we could meet all of our needs, that would create tens of millions of jobs, maybe even, you know, hundreds of millions. I don't know. Uh, with a population of 318 million, nobody would be unemployed. Uh, we want living wage jobs, and we want to run society in a way that benefits the masses, not just, uh, you know, 400 individuals. We've got to, you know, take back the political system. Uh, we, um, you know, if everyone were to have free health care, cradle to grave and free education, cancel the student debt, free education through college. Um, and, you know, if we were to use environmentally sustainable green technology, you can't do that under capitalism. You can't have green capitalism. It's uh, counter to capitalism. Capitalism is an outdated, outmoded system that has, um, it's become outmoded. It um, needs to be replaced, and it's going to take the 99% to do that. But we have to organize, and again, it's movements that change society, uh, not individuals. Thank you. Yeah.